What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Fat Boy Trucking, checking in with y'all, man, a.k.a. A-List, man. Hey, real quick, I just want to take the time. I know I haven't been on here in a while. I haven't dropped a video in probably a month or two. So uh, I just want to thank everybody and people been, uh reaching out to me, man. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Um, I'm just going to do this video. Um, basically, a little update what's going on with Bay Trucking and uh, just going on overall. So, um, once again, man, I want to thank every one of y'all, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all show me a lot of love, man. And uh, thank you guys for being patient while I deal with my personal situation and how to get myself right and stuff. But I also got good news. You know, you guys been asking me. I finally went ahead and did it, but I'm going to tell you towards the end. So, please watch the whole video so you can hear the special surprise i got for you guys especially a lot of you newcomers coming out of cdl school you know definitely so before we get into it man uh if you like what i'm doing man just hit me a like button drop a little comment you guys want me to talk or something or want me to record a video about doing something please drop a comment man i'm gonna make sure i get to every single one of y'all um once again oh i know a lot of you guys uh been trying to follow me on uh instagram um, I switched my name up, so if you guys been putting my old name in there, you might not have been able to find it, but I'll make sure I put my new name in the description so you guys could be able to find me, man. Also, I'm, I finally got on TikTok, so you guys want to watch me acting silly on damn TikTok, I'll be on there acting stupid on TikTok, so I'll put my TikTok username on there too so you follow me, um, you know, it's a great way to kill time on the road. <laughs> I mean, that thing is addicting, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I talk so much trash. I ain't never going to do no damn thing. I mean, people lose over the shit. I'm on that bitch all day, every day. Now, I can't, they can't even get me off of it. So, and uh, yeah, bang, if you're watching, you need to go ahead and just, you know, I mean, hit your boy up, man. Hit your boy up, man. I stay promoting y'all. All right, so we're going to get into the video. Uh, once again, thank you guys. So, May Trucking, you know, we've been dealing with the situation with coronavirus, um, still got it going on, uh, loads, loads, I mean, and when the man, when they had everything shut down, it was crazy, um, I was fortunate uh, to be able to keep my job, I know a lot of trucking companies, they were releasing drivers, they were sending them home until they get loads and stuff. And I'll be crazy because a lot of people's like, damn, you in trucking, like, they need you. Well, yeah, if they had jobs, but you gotta remember so many businesses shut down. Who were you delivering to? Unless you were in uh, an industry where you're delivering food, toilet paper, or something like that on a consistent basis, companies were shut down. And then when they did reopened they had so much stuff back hauled because they've been shut down they haven't used none of their products so it took a little while and uh things are starting to pick up now even me like every time i dropped a load when i was going through the whole situation i literally drop a load and then i have to sit wait two three days to get a load or when i do get a load and i'm like driving out there to go pick up my load it'll get canceled like companies were literally calling and canceling like no nah, we don't need it because they ended up getting shut down or whatever so it was real crazy but because of the situation and this is why i explained to you guys all right when you talk to these trucking companies they're gonna promise you a lot of things out of city like my boy was telling me and and he uh ended up going to warner and uh, somebody else was commenting like warner guarantee a thousand Dollars. Let me tell you something. Whenever, and, and I got this from another truck uh, driver. I forgot who his name. It was a while back. I watched it. But he, he spit some real thing at me. Whenever they be like, oh, $1,000 guarantee weekly. He said, whenever you see something like that, there's a catch to it. They want you to do certain things. Like, it, it, it may, they make it almost impossible for you to get that guarantee. But you got to remember, and I tell you guys this all the time. These recruiters are car salesmen, and they're worse than car salesmen. I feel like car salesmen are more honest. These guys will say anything, anything to get you through them doors. That's their job, all right? They're going to sit there, act like they don't get commission, bonus, or whatever they get. They do, 
every time you go in there, they do. So you got to make sure you really doing your fact finding. That's why I tell you, just don't sit there and go what what recruiter says. And you also, you got to be careful with some of these reviews because there's a lot of people that complain. You know what? They complain about any job they go to. So you got to weed that out. You just got to, like, you know, I, when I Google, I look at the overall comments. You know what I'm saying? If you got your two or three, well, they say, you know what? In the beginning, I, I, I read a couple things with me, and I was fresh. So I seen one or two, and I immediately gave up, and I went to Warner. You know, if you guys see my older videos, you know I started out with Warner. Uh, off and on, I did 10 months with them. And Warner, and I'm not bashing them, and I'm not saying they're a good company, they're a bad company, or whatever I'm saying. I'm just saying me personally, and a few people that I know are having bad experience with them. And I do know they do have a high turnover, and there's a reason behind it, you know? Um, people are not, from what I've seen overall, this don't make it correct. None of these are actual facts. I haven't looked into numbers. I don't have, uh, this is just what I go from, what I hear from people, what I discuss with people. They have high turnover. And, this, and they even told me that's an orientation. Like, they just told me, we get like 5,000 students in that week. Guess what? We're losing about 20. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not saying they're losing 20,000. I'm just making up numbers. But they're losing almost triple than what they bring in. So, you know, it, it is crazy out here, man. And I tell people all the time, this is um, an industry, like, you know, especially when you're coming out, you know, a lot of people are not prepared. They, um, they feel like, you know, they got in their mind. They know what's going on. And then when they get out there, it was like, oh, this is tough. Like, a lot of people don't make it. A lot of people don't make it through the training, honestly, you know, and that's one thing I like about May Trucking, and I told you guys this before in my other video, a lot of companies want you to do two or three months of training. I had to do that. You know how frustrating to be locked up back there with a guy for two, three months, you know, and, and things just start, you know, eventually y'all going to start bumping heads and stuff. Some of y'all going to click. Some of y'all going to be best friends for life, but it's going to click. But back to the moral of the story, sorry for getting off subject, is I was so happy I was with May through this time. And this is why I tell you guys, be careful. May straight up tell me, regardless of what was going on, regardless how many days I sat, I got paid. And and now May's not the greatest pay. I'm not going to sit there and bullshit you guys like, oh, you're going to make all these stacks with May. No, you're going to make your money. You're going to make decent money. But the difference between them and the other companies, they're fucking consistent, all right? They are consistent. I know at the end, of when I started out, because I came in as an experienced driver, uh, I don't know if the pay is the same. You got to call recruiting and figure all that out. But when I came in as an experienced driver, I get paid $130 a day no matter what miles I drive. No matter what miles I drive. Now, obviously, when you go on home time, you don't get paid those days while you're sitting at home. But besides that, you on your truck, you got to do a 34-hour reset. They ain't got a load for you. You just sitting around. You get paid. You get paid. I mean, like, literally, I was barely hitting. I, maybe I, like, when this whole corona thing was going, I was probably hitting, like, 1,200 to twelve. 50 you know miles a week maybe 1300 you know somewhere around there so it was rough it was rough out here so i'm like damn thank god i was getting this pay now of course now what um also um may trucking does is not only you get your daily pay but guess what if you make over a certain amount of miles and your miles are more because you get a cent cent per mile too if you make more cent per mile than you do with your daily pay guess what the first friday of that month or whatever how it breaks down you gonna get the difference on that check plus you're gonna get a safety bonus if you get no wrecks or any accidents at all for that month so your safety bonus is it's gonna be anywhere from three to five cents on top of uh whatever difference you know so i'm like okay that's what's up so I can get on my bonus check every month, plus my guarantee what I'm getting every week. 
it was a no-brainer for me, man. I, I went with uh, Warner. Let me tell you, yeah, I got seven, eight hundred, almost a thousand dollar paychecks in the beginning. Never hit over a thousand with them. Um, but guess what? I had a lot of one hundred, two hundred. I had way more paychecks that were four hundred dollars and less than I did the bigger checks. So um, that situation right there, that was what sold me to go to May. People on here promoting their company. Oh, yeah, we get this, we get that. Yeah, you can get miles. You can do all that. But I guarantee you, and this is why I said I recommend it for student drivers. Um, that's trying to get your experience because before you really, like I tell people all the time, I don't say, oh, I'm going to do my year. I'm going to do this. You really need two years experience. Now, I'm not going to say other companies won't take you after a year, but overall, the majority is two years experience. That's what you want to try to stick it out with your companies. And people will um, make a mistake. And I tell them all the time, you got to be careful because you think these companies like, yeah, they're trying to get you to switch over. But guess what? You start leaving job to job to job. These people pay attention. It's still a job. So you over here switching companies, they're going to look at it like, damn, like you didn't even last here for a month. You already switched and looking for a different company. So you can't be jumping around. So you want to find a company that's consistent, they're honest. I'm not going to say you're not going to get into it with anybody, but they treat you like a family. Like, I mean, they called me out by my name, this, that. Warner, nobody knew who the hell I was. I mean, it's such a huge company, and I'm not knocking it. Some people, that works better for them. I always say, not every company is for everybody. You got to find what company works for you. Me, I like the family atmosphere. I mean, they're not super small, but they're they're... They're small enough where these DMs really take the time to get to know you. You handle your business. You do things the way you're supposed to do. They'll take care of you. And you know what I'm saying? If you don't, they're going to baby you. And they do it to any company will do it to you. You're not doing your job. Then what, what's your point being out here on the road away from everybody? So, like I said, now things has been picking up. I'm hitting my... Uh, because, you know, when that corona, like in the mix, without everything shut down over quarantine and all that... Um, I wasn't hitting my bonus. Nobody was. It was. It was just. I mean, some people were getting lucky hitting it, but overall, a lot of majority of people weren't hitting it. Um, now I'm back to every month. I'm hitting my bonus every month. Ooh, excuse me. I've been up since two a.m. <laughs> Had a busy day today, so um, it's been crazy. But back to what I was trying to tell you. So things are picking up. Things are looking good. Now, I have heard rumors that certain areas may not hiring, but I spoke to somebody say today that shouldn't be true. So tomorrow, I'm actually going to call and look into it because I know some people from Florida um, were reaching out to me. They're like, yeah, you know, some people people get hired in Florida. Other people ain't. So I don't know what's going on. I got I'm going to get down to the bottom and figure it out because I know I got a personal friend of mine, you know what I'm saying? You know, he started out following me on YouTube. Then he followed my Insta, and now we keep in touch, and we happen to be from the same city, you know. I live in Tampa, Florida, so. Oh, any of y'all from Tampa, Florida, man, y'all can hit me up on my Instagram, man. I'll even put my Snapchat. I mean, even you ain't from, I don't care, man. Y'all want to just snap me or send me a message on Instagram, I don't care, man. I'll get back to y'all and show you love. So now... Um, overall, like I said, everything's getting better. Everything's picking up. Business is starting to get back to what it used to be. So that's good. And I told you guys that I got some special news. So a lot of you guys been getting at me like, yo, fat boy or A-list, whatever you guys. I go by A-list mainly. I just did fat boy trucking. That's my YouTube name. But, um... It was like, yo, um, we really want you to train. I was like, nah, I'm not really feeling that. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I was in a relationship before. So, and, and other situations that I wasn't really feeling it at the moment. But you guys that beat me down. And today I went and got certified to become as a trainer. So, I'm a mentor. So, I am a mentor now. So, if you guys want to make a special request, it's not guaranteed. But you guys can make a special request and ask me um, when you get hired on for me to be your mentor. If it works out, they'll do their best to try to make it work. Like I said, I don't care. I'm a smoker, so if you're in my truck, 
you're gonna deal with smoking. So um, I told her I don't care. I train females. I train dudes. People are allowed to bring their dogs on the truck. I don't deal with cats. Mm -mm. One cat scared the hell out of me. Don't know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I don't play with cats. I've been attacked like three, four times with cats. I'm like, you know what? Me and cats just don't get along. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? End of the day, it is what it is. I mean, somebody really has a situation where they really need to get the cat. I guess I could deal with it. Like I said, you're going to be on the truck two to three weeks. So I guess I could suffer for two to three weeks. So um, besides that, but yes, I'm a, I'm a mentor now. So you guys, I'm going to put my employee code. Also, I never did it before, but, you know, everybody was like, yo, I want to use you as a reference because, you know, I joined the job because of it and I told um May Trucker knows about my YouTube videos and it was like yo I'm being stupid for not putting it out there but if you guys want to use a referral it might help you get in there easier especially in the harder places to hire I will once again you use my employee code all you got to do once you go to orientation or you know when you call and talk to your recruiter just be like look this person and I'll give you my employee code um, just send me a message on Instagram and I'll give you my name. I don't want to put my name out there for just anybody to see. But um, um, once you got my employee code, that's really all you need. But I'll give you my first name. So, but yeah, that's it, man. I appreciate y'all once again, man. Thank you for the support. I'm just like, yeah, I was really humble that people were reaching out like, yo, even in the comments like, yo, I haven't heard from you. Like, are you good? Everything good, man? Like, we worried about you. Well, I'm out here still trucking, man. Just had to deal with some situations. You know how it goes, man. Sometimes things work out. Sometimes they don't. It is what it is. But either way, your boy keep on trucking, man. I love y'all. Peace. Make sure you hit that like. And if you ain't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that all notification, that little bell right next to it, man. And I'm going to keep putting out videos. Plus, I keep telling y'all I'm going to start a second channel. Um, I got a couple ideas what I want to do. I might do two or three channels. We'll see. Um, this is gonna be a big year, you know. Just damn 2020 don't stop acting up, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, man, I love y'all. Peace.